everyone we're back with another episode of cooking with love yeah hopefully i think last time i did the one outside it did record but it was really fuzzy so i didn't upload it to my youtube but this one should be working we're gonna see what happens what happens um i have this it's really late it's 9 5 i'm going to be making a super fast garlic shrimp with lemon um i already have my rice done i'm gonna do like a salad maybe i'm hungry but i don't know if i really feel like doing all that tonight so we're gonna see but guess what you guys if you watched last i finally got a garlic press oh, super excited about that um yeah it's a really nice surprise gift um so yeah so i have my garlic i've already you know did that part of it Pull it, pulled uh, that out of out of there, and I'm gonna keep doing that. So you guys, what's been going on? Hold on one second, y'all. You know, mom life is real. Okay, that's another reason I came on here. <laughs> Listen, you guys, kids, kids are real. Like they're a trip. Really a trip. What are you doing, Zoe? Huh? Okay, you're supposed to be doing something else, so. Listen, kids, kids are something else. No, no, no. And I'm going to tell this because she'll probably never see this. But she got out of the shower to put on a dirty shirt. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> I hope y'all can hear me. But like, why would you do that? Like, you know better. I'm not raising you. Oh, thank you. I'm cooking um, garlic shrimp and over rice. Okay, that one's bad. So we're just gonna use these three. But anyway, so I'm gonna turn our the skillet on. Yeah, so I'm gonna turn the skillet on and then I'm gonna press my garlic. Um, but thank you for the compliment about my hair. I appreciate it. Make sure I'm doing this right. I think I'll put this here. And then I do this. I need to wait till my skillet is a little bit warmer. And listen. Oh, you guys, I did want to say to the last time I cooked the pasta. If you were following, I think I put like almost a whole stick of butter or like a little bit over half. Don't use that much if you're not going to put more cream. Because the next day when I put out the fridge, it's a little too buttery. So just I wanted to give that correction. Use a little bit more cream. Um, while our skillet is warming up, I am going to put some butter in here because we don't want our garlic to just sit there and burn by itself. We want a little bit of something in there with it. All right. Gonna do that. That is warming up and make sure your eye is not too hot. I am going to try and move this closer as we as we work so you guys can see um, what is going on. I want you guys to be able to, you know, see see what I'm cooking. I think this, I, you know, I think this most of this is, you know, I think it's kind of bad. Went to Aldi and got garlic today. Did not go to my normal, oh no, not all of it. To Meyer. And listen, you guys, I'm I don't know if I'm weird or whatever. I love garlic and I like a lot of it. So with that being said, you may or may not <laughs> want to follow this recipe to the tea. Okay? If you don't like garlic, don't do it. It's so funny, like my mom every time I used to go to uh Fridays and I would get um the chicken bruschetta pasta. And every time I, I would come home, I'm like, you've been eating a lot of garlic, haven't you? I'm like, yeah, I have. <laughs> this was like in high school when it was like, you know, going to Fridays was like the thing. You know, and I love their, their garlic pasta. I mean, they used to love their chicken bruschetta pasta. I don't use a lot of chicken now, but so basically, I think I'm doing this. It's my first time using this kind. My sister has one, but hers is a little different. Oh, you know what? You can do it either way. I just noticed that. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna just drop that in there and do it like this. Oh, it likes 
squeezes and squeezes it. You guys, this is exciting. It's so funny because like, I get so excited about the simplest like little kitchen stuff. And people are like, really? I'm like, heck yeah. This is what I love to cook though, you know? We have a reason. Those of us who love to cook have a reason to get excited about kitchen stuff, you know? As we should. You know? It's not for everyone. Some people hate cooking. I got some friends who do not like cooking at all. And that's fine. That's their business. But for me and my house. <laughs> I love it. So this, listen, this is experimental too. Like I said, this is my first time using this time. My sister has one that's a little bit different. But guys, what's been going on? How's life been? What's, what's up with people tonight? Anyone feel like talking? No, not really. Hey, what's going on? Welcome. Listen, parent life, y'all. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I had a really extremely rough day yesterday. It's like, you know, it was just rough. You know, and I get it. In life sometimes that will happen. But, you know, we just gotta give it all to God. At the end of the day, I was just like, okay, I'm done. I'm done complaining. You know, I won't lie about my moments. And I definitely will complain sometimes. And. And I won't say be bratty, but I mean, I'm sure God is like, uh, you know, what are you doing? You know, like, really? That's what we're doing today? But you know, I think he gives us those, allows us to have those moments, you know? And so, I accidentally bought the wrong shrimp, but it's okay. I bought cooked shrimp, and I was supposed to buy raw shrimp, but it's all right. You know, leaders adjust. So, of course, I'm going to take my Creole seasoning and put some of that on there. Because you guys know, those of you who have watched before, I love this stuff. And it is super awesome. And I use up just a little bit of um, pink Himalayan sea salt and some thyme. Because I just love the taste of thyme. <laughs> the taste of thyme. Did thyme. Does thyme have a taste? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm corny, you guys. Just in case you didn't know this. I am. Um, but yeah, so, you know. Yeah, I'm cooking shrimp, but technically the shrimp is already cooked. But, you know. <laughs> yeah. These lemons are really tiny. I went to uh, Walmart instead of going to Meijer. So, I'm going to... move this this way there we go hopefully that's not no it comes fully cooked but yeah i didn't buy the raw shrimp this time so we're gonna put that in there you want to make sure it's not up too high how about you guys i know i'm not the only person who does this Listen, how about I bought, <laughs> I bought parsley, I already had parsley in there. And I thought about broccoli, I already had broccoli. <laughs> like, yeah, I got it at Aldi. Listen, that's another thing I forgot to tell you guys last time. How about Aldi had, um, what's the name of that? I'm gonna pull it out just so I can show you guys. I got this for my housewarming too. <laughs> um, Aldi had Beyond Meat Burgers. Isn't that crazy? And they were like way cheaper. I think they were like, I don't remember how much, but I remember like thinking, dang, this is way cheaper than getting it at, I think I bought it at Target last time. So this is lemon I'm squeezing in there. This is the kind of like a half of a half of a lemon because this lemon is not that big at all. I'm gonna put the other half. Uh, 
yet. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. I'm gonna cut my parsley. And guess what? Because it's already cooked shrimp. We're gonna be done in a minute. It's like a really quick meal. Like I said, I am gonna make a salad. Probably. Sorry, I'm, sh I'm shaking the camera. Um, yeah. This is my, uh, yeah, curly parsley I bought this time. You know what? I haven't really looked to see, like, the taste difference between the parsley. Um, yeah, but. Sorry. Tell me you right. But I know there's flat parsley, which I believe is Italian parsley. And then there's curly parsley. So, listen, I just do whatever I want to do. <laughs> and sometimes I, you know, actually do research. But listen, guys, how many of you on here are parents? Like, this parent life, yo, single parent life, it's rough some days. I'm just going to be real honest. I don't know if some of you know that, but for those of you who have more than one, like, I have one, and I'm like, some days, like, Jesus, okay? Okay? Father God in heaven, all of earth, okay? Give me strength, you know? And it's a part of the process, you know? And not that he doesn't give us strength, but some days we need to pray a little bit harder than others. And that's okay. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly normal. Leaders adjust. Moms adjust. You know, but it's a process. And one thing that I will suggest is taking you time. I have learned, and even though I used to do it more often, I've learned now, like, it is necessary. I'm learning it's necessary for me to get back in the gym and really spend time on me. You know, it is a never-ending task being a parent. Um, and we have to take time for self. Like, me getting in the gym and, like, releasing that stress that way it's key and I have not been in the gym for quite some time unfortunately I'm noticing difference in my body like I lost the weight I didn't intend to lose and it's like oh my gosh like no butter um Oh, I kind of want to put some Old Bay in here. I don't know if I have some. Um, but yeah, like, spend that time with you is necessary. And I know a lot, right now, a lot of people are mental health conscious. It's cute for your mental health for you to spend time with you, getting to know you, understanding what you like and what you don't like, where are you comfortable at, you know, and even dealing with other people and, and their time and how they may be pulling on you and drawing from you, you know, so that you can have healthy and productive relationships, you know. It's necessary. So necessary. Um, but yeah, you know, we gotta take time for ourselves. And, and you know, it's, it is funny because kids are, kids will crack you up. Okay. <laughs> They're hilarious. But... For those of you just coming on, I'm cooking shrimp, um, garlic shrimp, with lemon, and what did I say I was about to look for? Let's see if I had some Old Bay in here. I do not think I have it here. I think the last time I cooked, um, the, uh, shrimp what did i mean the shrimp and grits i think i did it at my parents house and i probably left it over there and that's okay well like i said leaders adjust you gotta make make do with what you have if you have obey a little bit of that would taste good in here i'm gonna let that butter melt i did turn it down really low i do not want my shrimp overcooked and be uh you know, rubbery. You do want to be careful of that. Don't have it up too high. Thank you for the hearts. Um, when I do my rice, I do minute rice because I don't have time for that. 
Um, like I said, I'm busy <laughs> most of the time. So time is of the essence. I kind of want to put, what else? Oh, you guys know. I, thank you for the hearts. I love smoked paprika. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. A little bit of that, you know? Who doesn't? Well, some people don't. And that's okay. Smoked paprika is not for everyone. Okay. Maybe one day I'll stop putting it on almost every dish. I don't put it on every dish, though, but, you know, that's such a great taste. And look, you guys, I'm almost out. I need to go buy some more. I got this actually at, um, it was either Marshall's or Target, but this is the brand. And they have one that's hot, too. That's good. But you guys, look, this one I'm made tonight. I haven't made any Kool-Aid in quite, like, years. And this is the only way I make Kool-Aid. I do two grapes, and I do one lemon, and then I actually put, cut up some lemons and put it in there. Oh, hello! But yeah, so, you know, it's been, like, eons since I've had it, so that's what we're gonna do. A little bit more lemon. Like if you all don't have a lemon thingy, I don't know what it's called, lemon press. Get you one, I promise you won't regret it. I like it hot. I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to make it too hot. Because, you know, the little one, you know, you can't have it too spicy for them. Even though I, sometimes I'm like, just put some water on it. <laughs> but you can't do that with all dishes, you know. You can't do that. So for the most part, we are done here. I am going to put this over some rice. I'm going to make some, I might make some salad. You want some salad? Yeah. Okay, she wants salad, so I'm gonna make some salad. I'm not gonna do that on camera because you guys know how to make salad. You don't need to know how to do that. So, but what I am going to do is plate this up so you guys can see how I play it. Thank you for the hearts. Here's my favorite square plate. Even though for my house summer, I did get other plates and they are so cute. For my friends, they're so cute. I have some bras and friends, you guys. Like, they're such a blessing. Such a blessing. So, I'm going to try it like this so it comes out exactly how I want. We're going to see. I'm going to try this out. See if I can make it look super pretty. So. <laughs> oh, you guys can see. Can you? I did all that. And you guys. Oh, yeah. Can you see that? Okay. So to grab a spoon I do want to take like because don't get me wrong it's been a long time since i've been in culinary school when i was in culinary school some years ago and i want to take like a plating class you know i think that would be really fun just so you can you know learn how to plate better make your plates look like really pretty you know i'm all about the aesthetics of the plate and proper placement of you know everything and then it's one thing I do, and I mean, some people don't care about this, but if I'm going to do pictures, I definitely care. So I'll take a napkin, paper towel, whatever, and kind of clean it up so it looks better. And then sometimes what I do is get a little bit more sauce and kind of do drips. So it kind of looks intentional. Like even if you make a mistake, it's okay.
Yeah, they're probably like, really? Is it that serious? For me, it is. Like, I want my face to look pretty. And so, like I said, some people don't care. But I definitely care about presentation. But yeah, going back to my topic, which, like, is a topic, but not a topic. Anyway, we have to take time for ourselves. And we have to take care of ourselves. Like, real mental health. Like, and if you need a therapist, go. Please. 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 Even if you, you know, can't afford it. Listen, there are people out there. They have apps now where you can, like, talk to a therapist. Do what you have to do for your mental health. If your family's driving you crazy, maybe it's time to back away from them and take care of you. You know? We have to do that so that we can be here longer and live in our purpose longer. You know? That's all I'm saying. But, yeah. So, here we go. This is my... So I did a whole bunch of little, I guess you can say dots or whatever. I don't know what you call them. I just wanted to look a certain way. So there we go. The moral of the story tonight is take care of yourself. Your mental health is important. Take take care of you. And if you're a mom, listen, is everybody should, but you definitely need to sometimes separate yourself. And even if you can't get out. Put them to bed early. I don't care if they got to lay in that bed and, to, and toss and turn until they go to sleep. Take some time for yourself. Run your bath. Read a book. You know, just do something for you. Okay? It's very important. But that's all. Hopefully, this did. It will be on my phone and I can upload it to my YouTube channel. The last two did not work. Um, the one I did with the, I think I grilled zucchini, squash, and onions. Um, did download but it looked really fuzzy so I may upload it I may not um, I may redo it again I don't know we'll see but my YouTube channel is Monique Gigi um, and the series is cooking with love and if this helped you or you know someone it could help benefit please share it with them um, and if you try any of the recipes please reach out to me on Twitter uh, Gigi Lux and my name is the same on Instagram and let me know how you liked it. If you need, if you made some alterations that made it taste better or whatever. You know, let me know. I'm all about hearing about recipes, you know, that I have on here that someone's cooked. Listen, I love food. So anyone, anytime anyone wants to talk about food, I'm here for it. <laughs> but you guys have an amazing night. Thanks for watching. Like I said, if you know someone that could benefit from this, please share. Thank you all for the hearts. Love you guys. Have a great night. And hopefully I'll be back. I'm not going to promise. Hopefully, I'll be back with some shrimp tacos this week. So, we'll see. Love you guys. Good night.